My mom's calling. Hey, mom. How's your face? <laughs> oh my goodness, it's pretty. I honestly really like the colors. <laughs> On my very first wave, the very first wave of the day, I got hit in, in the eye with the tip of my surfboard and I got a black eye. Then I, yeah, had to go to urgent care, ended up getting four stitches. Oh man, what did it happen? <sighs> I don't even know. It was like a freak accident. But you know, there's actually some really interesting physics. That... <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God. No, let's talk about it. This morning, I woke up uh, at six o'clock. Seven o'clock. Who am I kidding? I was up at 4 a.m. I was working out. <laughs> okay, we get it, Diana. I'm concussed. I can't think straight. Did you fall on the front? Or did you... No, I didn't even fall. That's the crazy thing. So this is what happened. I caught the wave. It was like the end of the wave. I was like, oh, it's now white water. I'm going to fall sideways. So I fell sideways and pushed it sideways. But I think what had happened is, and here's where the physics part comes in. The tide was really, really high. And when the tide is high, waves will kind of not break, not break, not break. And then they'll break really hard on certain parts of the beach because that beach might be like built up to have a, a steeper shelf. And so all that energy is coming in and then it gets directed into this steeper shelf and it'll crash really hard. And a lot of times if you're coming up out of the water and you're getting tumbled, you're supposed to put your arms over your head. Your board might be tumbling over you. You don't want to get hit by it. But I fell sideways so that I could kick my board out to the side and then I like splashed in the water and I'm in the shore where it's sort of tumbling and then I come up for air and the board was just coming down straight at me and was just like, boom, it hit my eye. So I was really worried that I had like lost my eyesight or something. And I was sort of like, like crying a little bit, but it hurt to cry. So I was just panicking a little bit because I was like, ha, huh, ha. Huh. You know when you, you like hurt yourself really bad and, and like kind of panic? I hate that feeling. And then I realized like I could see through my eyes. I was like, okay, thank God. This is this seems so dramatic. Like what a YouTube drama story I'm telling right now. We should, we should have had you on a couch, like went in a bun with a sweatshirt and like yeah, I have to so tell them. guys. I just feel like an idiot. I don't know. I've never made a video like this because there's nothing there's nothing I really have to address. But I think this is really obvious when I'm on camera. Yeah. That's the other thing that could have happened is here's more physics is that um, if the board ever gets, you know, pushed under by a wave, then you have a ton of buoyant force launching it back up. So even if it had been on top of the water, doo -doo -doo, the wave could have crashed on it and then pushed it under and then it gets this really strong buoyant force launching it up out of the water and then it would have come down and hit me in the face. I'm glad you didn't put your eye out. I know. I'm, I mean, I'm so lucky. It literally looks like I got eyebrow extensions with the stitches. Do you think your eyebrow will scar? I think so. Probably yeah. Will. What do I do now? Do I plug my Patreon? Like, poor me. <laughs> I'm going to be out of commission for a while. That's not true. We just filmed a video about James's space telescope. But that's a good reason to uh, support Physics Girl because rain or, rain or shine. Get it like a shiner? Yeah. Rain, rain or shiner. That's the happiest I've seen you all day. <laughs> I mean, I'm so happy with that one. We film rain or shiner. Yeah. They heard it the first time. Rain and shiner are both bad. I'll have to workshop this one. Rain, shiner, and shine. <laughs> oh my god, if you watch this, I hope you had a better day than I did. Rain or shiner or shine. And cut.